And welcome back, everybody. Uh, Dave is still here. I am here. I'm sorry I did promise a video of me sneaking around, changing, redecorating everything, but um, I didn't get round to it. So at the moment, we've just got us two sat in a cave again. Got lots of stick. We've got a bunch of meat cooking up in a fire here. As you can see, we used up all that leather to quickly give ourselves some uh, pathetically weak and fragile armour, but it's better than getting um, killed by creepers and whatnot. Apparently this stops you getting one hit by a creeper, so it's all good. Um, we've got the same little barricade we had before in this cave system, but we've had a look around this cave system, and it turns out it's all dead ends. Self-contained. Exactly. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to torch up all of it, so nothing can spawn, and we're going to use this place as a home. Because there's plenty of room in it. Just want to make absolutely certain that nothing's going to spawn out on us and blow up anything valuable. I'm moving my bed to in the big room. Yes, yeah, we can all shift everything into the big room, have it as storeroom. We can pretty the place up as well, just be very careful, because um, the cave-in mechanics, they only take effect when you change a block, so... If you um, if if the cave sat like it is now, it's great. But if you mine a block out of the roof, it might trigger a cave in. So we need supports and stuff before we start shaping the rooms. Mm. If that makes sense. Right there we go. Everything seems to be fine now. Let's take down these walls. Get all our whoops. Get all our stuff back. Yeah, I was gonna say if you take take down these uh, walls now. Um, it's not going to cause a trigger or a cave in, is it? No, 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 no. This is just removing blocks. It's not breaking blocks. That's cool. This is a question that you guys should be asking. <laughs> Indeed. That's what my point is, I suppose, and then just ask all those sorts of questions. Something like that. Actually, we've still got some supports in the chest, haven't we? Grab a few of them a sec. Uh, which chests? Well, I don't know. One of them. Okay, uh, close now. Where'd that hissing come from? Oh. Support being. Yes, there are for viewers who are wondering, we do get random noises because when I was looking around outside, we found adjacent caves as well. So this place is sealed off and on its own, but there are others nearby that we're going to be using later on. So we'll have lots of fun. Uh, where's my axe? There it is. Let's break these up because we're not going to, there's nothing in them. Yeah, I have some presents. What's that? Oh, I don't want the beams. It's going to get you to do it. You oh, boy. Jack and bat, then. No, it's too late now. I've got them. <laughs> um, actually, we're not going to be building there. We're not going to be removing any of that roof, but we might do some work here. There we go. Whoops. Stupid thing. There we go. That's a bit of a support there. So none of that will collapse on us if we start digging stairways and stuff here. Right, the next thing we were going to do, I believe, we had another metal, didn't we? Oh, it's night time. Let's set our spawn points, at least. So if we die, we do come back here. We don't need it to be day, because we're not going outside for a bit, but uh, still. It's worth doing, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, and just for another quick novelty support... Also, that those uh, cows that we killed that gave us loads of leather, we have converted into armor. That's I've already said that. Well, no, no, I'm saying again in case they've forgotten. All me. I may have forgotten you saying that. City boy, city boy. Uh, we've got shed loads of planks. That, that, that. What else have we got? That chisel head. That's what we were going to do. Cool. Now, do we have any ore? Yes, we had the unshaped tin that we finished off last time. Let's grab a load of hickory. Grab a bellow. Although, no, that's a bit dangerous. And let's smelt up the tin. What I need is a hammer. Where did I put the hammer? There's been a lot of complaints on IRC lately, actually, about how bloody difficult it is to do all of this. Because tin's melting point and uh, working point are so close. So it's very interesting. Actually, is this hammerable metal? Uh, stone, yes it is. That's good. Cool. So I'm going to have that there, that there. Chisel plan. Now, we do need a chisel. It may not sound like much to people who don't know this mod, but for people who do know this mod, they're all smiling knowingly at each other now. There you go, have a few of them, keep going on the meat. That way we won't have to worry about it for ages. Uh -huh. Now, tin like other tier naught metals, if you heat it too much, the thing will vanish. So, let me skip ahead a sec. Uh, see how cooked that is. Yep, it's, see it's moved down to the bottom because it's now liquid. So if I make an, a temporary anvil here, 
I won't put that up yet because I need to wait until this heats up a bit and then turn it into an ingot. Don't worry Dave, I will let you do some smithing later, but for the low level stuff it's a real painful learning curve, so once we get some of the um, level 1 stuff I'll be able to let you do it and you'll have yeah. a lot more time on cooking. Uh, what do I need to do? I need to hit, not last, last, draw. Okay, so I need to get up here a bit, draw, hit, hit, there we go, chisel. Perfect. I <laughs> haven't made a perfect chisel in a long time. Oh, and that broke that. Okay, so I have a chisel. Looky, chisel. I'm, work I'm, I'm, I'm cooking. Useless boy. Today my priority is being a chef. Okay, fine. I'll show the audience. Look, audience, chisel. Yes. Now, what we need to do is make a bloomery. Now, this chisel, it can be used either in your inventory or it can be used in... Oh, some trees just grew outside. Or it can be used in conjunction with a hammer as a tool. So let me press... I think it's M. There we go. If I press M and use the chisel, you need the chisel in your inventory as the tool you're using and you need a hammer next to it because you're hammering with it. Press M to change the modes and I'll show you what these do in a sec. Create stairs. Right click and you've got some stairs. Uh, which I just fucked up there. So yeah, it's nice and useful. And for some reason it didn't seem to use up any of the durability on a chisel. If you break these blocks, they don't give you stairs, they just break. Now for slabs, it's quite good because you can smooth stone away like this into lots of random shapes. Or you can turn them into little corner blocks and make them into corner stairs and stuff. Or you can just chisel them into oblivion. There we go. Why is this not using up the durability on the chisel? So yeah, there's some quite cool features you can do with these chisels. There we go, you can make half slabs and stuff. And smoothing, the other feature, turns these into smooth stone. And smooth stone, when you break them, gives you... Uh, one second... Gives you an actual block of smooth stone instead of gravel that you get normally. So they're fun enough on their own, but when combined with... Where is it? Let's get a stack of something. Yeah, that'll do. When combined in your crafting grid with rocks, they give you bricks. Wow. I think it's really up to the uh, durability of chisels here, because that was an entire stack and it only did it a little bit. They are a noisy bunch of Oh no, one thing I forgot. Oh, useless me. Um... We can make bloomeries, but there's a block that you need to craft for the bloomery that involves charcoal. So I guess it's time to show how to make a charcoal pit. Um, how much wood we got? Uh, I've got several logs on me. Yeah, we're going to need a few stacks. Oh, I don't know, this might be enough. I mean, we don't need a shed load straight away because we haven't got that much ore. So let's grab all the wood we got. Okay, you got any more sticks, by the way? No, I used them all for the whatever it was we were using them for torches. All right, let's go stick hunting then. Grab some more dirt for the cover. Wait, what was that? Oh, I thought I saw sticks. Let's put those back in there. Put anything else I don't need back in there in case I snuff it. While I'm out and about. All right, let's go stick hunting then. Stop that. <laughs> It's and very it noisy. Itchy, and itchy glasses. Silly boy. You want to come or do you want to stay doing that for a bit? I have to tally to see how many times you say that during the video. What? Nothing. Hmm. There's a cow up there. We have very large fields of trees over here. Well, forests. I'm sure we'll be able to find some willow at some point. Willow still being the most essential. You know what? Let's kill a chicken. If all else fails, go and find a chicken and kill it. Exactly. Never know when you might need to attack somebody with a feather. So yeah, priority sticks. Let's go grab a load of them. <laughs> now I need sticks to make fires. Tell you what, you guys have seen all this before, let's skip ahead a bit. Okay, heading back, got tons of sticks now. And no, a bunch should, of you should, be able to, you should be able to cook rotten flesh. Would be nice, wouldn't it? Then it could be tasty rotten flesh, no wait. 
I'm going to stick all these saplings around home so we don't have so far to run around next time. Actually, what are they? Sycamore. Boot. I am now sick. Bad and to get rid of that hickory. one. Hickory. You could have just thrown it in lava. We don't have any lava yet. Meh. Did I show off sluicing before? I did, didn't I? Yeah. Okay, now what am I doing? Oh yeah, I'm making a charcoal pit. You're going to want to watch this, so finish up what you're doing. Yeah. And come join me. While I make another shovel. We should put stacks in the fire pit. It would be nice, wouldn't it? Okay. Right, now the code for uh, four charcoal pits got changed in the last version or two. But I'm going to do them the same way they used to be done because it's the easiest way for charcoal pits. The first thing you need is to dig down a bit. You need a free. Oh, there goes that shovel. Next shovel. Because <laughs> you need um, a 3x3 three three base. But then that base needs to. There you go. It's a weird shape. Okay, that's where the fire pit will be. So what we do, I see that dirt's falling down. Is you have you have wood there, 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 there. Is it getting dark? Typical. Yeah. So yeah, you have a three by three in the middle, and then you have an extra three on the edge of each one. If that makes sense. Need to get rid of all of that. Actually, it'll be easier if I uncover it and then recover it later to show. Yeah, let's get rid of all of this. There we go. You see the shape it needs to be? Yeah. Right, and then what you do is you add another layer on top, like that, and you seal it up and start the fire, but this needs to be... C let's, let's go sleep. Okay, let's run off back out there. Right, so you've got that shape there, and it needs to be completely covered over with something. And we've, it turns out for us, we've discovered that slabs work, glass works fine, all of that stuff. So you can see what's going on inside it. Now, the amount of charcoal you get depends on how many logs you have in these log stacks. So if I fill this up now... There we go. I'm not expecting a massive haul. The standard haul for a, a stack this size, completely full of logs, is around about two and a half stacks of charcoal. But what we're doing now, we'll get a small haul. Right, uh, that's all the charcoal, that's all the wood I've got on me. So let's cover this over. What it is for people who don't know much about charcoal making in reality. Um, what happens is you basically start a fire, put the fire out so it smoulders, and then you have a load of wood in the area, and the wood gets very, very hot, but doesn't burn up. And that's how that works. Let's get rid of... Oh, that one's a full one. Let's put that back somewhere. And that way you get uh, choco out of it. Now, you may need to stand back because there is a good chance I will catch fire in a second. Uh, right. Okay, let's put, I don't think you need stuff in there, but I like to put stuff in there to make sure. One there, one there, that's the pit complete, covered over. And with any luck, it will start smoking, but I think... There we go, some smoke over there. We had some problems on the uh, multiplayer server that I'm playing on, that I host, uh, where the smoke wasn't working. Now, the problem with this charcoal pit at this moment, at this point in the game, is basically... Eh, how to describe? Let me grab a chisel. Basically, because the charcoal pit's code changed recently, they made it so that you can have absolutely massive charcoal pits stretching for miles, like several hundred blocks worth. Uh, the problem with that is, normally on these charcoal pits, the fire... Um, let me grab another thing. The little fire that I started in the middle used to stay there, 
And when the charcoal pit had finished, all the charcoal would sit in that fire. Sounds easy enough, right? But because the charcoal pits got so much bigger thanks to the code, you didn't have enough space for them to stay in there anymore. So what Biox did... I can't chisel that away. Um, so what Biox did instead was make the charcoal pit drop the charcoal on the floor. Which is not fun because it basically means... There we go, I can see it now. It basically means that um, if you don't check back on this charcoal pit regularly now, when it finishes it will drop all the charcoal on the floor and after five minutes all that stuff will vanish. So we need to check back on that pit every minute or so from now on. The time it's supposed to take is 18 hours in game time, which I think somebody worked out was about... I can't remember what it was, 18 minutes or something? It's supposed to be an hour to a minute or something? Or a minute to a second, I can't remember. It's 15 minutes maybe. But yeah, so we basically need to keep on checking on that every minute from now on. Right, what else are we doing here? Um, storeroom, stairs, all that's good. We need that to make the bloody bloomery. Okay, let me grab the bricks and show you the bloomery. Now with the bloomery, it is basically a big, uh, tall chimney. And it has a bloomery block, a specific crafted block, at the bottom. And what this does, let me demonstrate the layout. <coughs> Get rid of this stuff. Okay. There we go. Um, now, the very basic bloomery. Oh, oh, I forgot how soft this stuff is. The very basic bloomery can be made like so. That's all you need to make. And then once you've crafted the block, which I'll show you once we've got charcoal, you stick it there and it's done. And then you put charcoal on the top and you put ore in the top and it will eventually smelt and come out the bottom. It's a way to mass smelt ores basically and it's a crap load easier than doing these stupid fire pits which just takes so much longer. Now the thing about the bloomery is it can also be expanded. It can be expanded to a height of six uh, blocks. So what we've got here is two. Uh, three four, five, oh, we're going to need more space. Luckily, because of those supports, the roof should not kill us all. And also, we need to get above it to put stuff in, don't we? So let's go up another two blocks there. I'm going to cause a cave-in, I'm going to cause a cave-in. I didn't cause a cave-in, woot. Uh, how high up am I? One, two, three, four, five. I think that's the sixth level. That's the sixth. That. That's the sixth I've just made, isn't it? One, two, three, four, yeah, six, there we oh. go. Pay attention. Right, so, you can make these look prettier by squaring them off if you wish. But it, the core of the actual construction is just a central pillar, central four pillars. Yeah, okay, now we need a way up there. Cool, and the best way is stairs. Where's my hammer? I had a hammer a second ago. Do you want to try using a chisel? I'll show you how it's done because I've said stuff but not let you do it because you're obviously yeah. going to break it and muck it all up. Aren't you? I mean, yeah, give it a try. You got your hammer in your in your drop in your taskbar at the bottom. Yeah. Right, and you hover over the chisel. All right. As in, get out the chisel, whip it out into your hand. Yep. Right. Press M. Uh, yep. Create what does it say? Stairs. Yeah, no, and stairs. right click on the step, on the block. Bingo. And now the one above. And the one above, right. Yeah. And it does it in the way you're facing, so do this one face... Oh, do that one facing away. Facing this way, you mean? Facing, yeah. There we go. That'll work, won't it? Let's try and get up higher. This rock takes a long while to get through, it must be good. Oh, actually, no, I can't move on to that one. Uh, yeah, do it facing that way. No, 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 this from here. Ah, uh, from here, sorry. Yeah. Okay, yeah. cool. That's the top of this thing. Are you not causing a cave in right now? Um, those supports... Quite good. They're, what their range is... I mean, they support... Grab some dirt a sec, I'll show. Or something like that. 
Oh, there we go, that's some dirt. Right, these supports, they support on two different levels, look. They support stuff above, and they support yeah. stuff on the same level. So what that means is a cave-in will only happen if multiple unsupported blocks are nearby each other and not being held up or anything. So what this means is that supports quite a few of the blocks along the roof as well. Like along... Oops. There's certain ways you can't place blocks. It's very annoying. There, they support blocks all the way along the wall and all the way along the roof. So quite a few of these are well supported. They're very useful. There was there was a big old time when I first started playing this mod where every time I went mining I made a 3x3 three three cave with supports along the outside away down the middle. And then somebody said, yeah that looks really great and everything but can't you just mine a 2x1? And after that that's all I've been doing. Just a nice little passage just large enough for a person to walk down, that's all I needed. <laughs> and that doesn't cause cave-ins. Yep, it does not cause a single cave-in. Cool eh? Uh, yep, stairway and stairway. Thank you. And that'll take us to the top. Let's clear out this a bit more so we can see what we're doing. <coughs> oh, I guess that takes us into the other room. Cool. Maybe we should have supports here. Uh, you got any on you? Um, I've got the. Uh, Check us um, the. the Horizontal one on on the yeah. I need vehicles. oh okay. I need both. Let me go grab some. Um, da, da. You can't make supports out of planks for some reason, which is annoying. Oh, there's a vertical bunch. Did you say you got horizontals? How many? Six. Now do. You want to place them? Can do. Right. Lovely. Okay. Um, what we'll do then is put them here. Right here. Do two verticals. What, what, where you were just then? Yeah. Right. Yep. And then you could do a horizontal beam coming out this way. Which way? What, guy towards you? Yeah. There we go. And that will hold everything in the area. Nice, eh? Nice and easy. Yeah. Let's clear this a bit more. There's no point in doing one this way because it'll get in the way. Well, I think the other one's still supporting it, isn't it, or is it not? No. Yes, yes it is. Okay, let's clear a bit more over here, so we can actually see the bloomery all the way up. Don't forget this corner here. Hmm? So, you want to learn to use metal then? Did you say we've got an unshaped tin got? Yeah, I've got an unshaped Oops. tin. In I forgot to show end. that, actually. Smooth stone. I'll show that in a sec. Alright, grab the unshaped tin then. Yep. And let me give you some hammers. Stick it in there, start heating it up. On the fire? Yeah, and while it's doing that... Let's get you a pickaxe, I guess, will be the first one. Uh, yeah, keep an eye on it, because it gets hot quick, and once it goes past a certain stage, very hot, I believe, then it breaks. Have you got the... Um, oh, no, here it is. Okay, and let me show you how to make an, a basic anvil at this level, then. Right. Um, stick one of the hammers in your taskbar and stick the other hammer at the top of your inventory because you'll need it quick access. Right. Okay, yeah. As a tin what, doing. What about, what, what about the right. tin? Sorry? What about the uh, plan, sorry? Yeah, the plan don't use yet. Right, use the hammer, right click on a, on a block near you on the floor. Yep. Did that bring up a UI? Yeah. Yeah, um, the plan will go at the very top right in the plan slot, but not until you've made the tin into an ingot. Uh -huh. The hammer, before you can do anything, there needs to be a hammer in the bottom left uh -huh. as well. Uh, the tin has liquefied. Okay. So you need to take that out now and put it in the anvil. Yeah, but the anvil disappears. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, I know. It's a real pain. <laughs> <laughs> it is a real pain. Until you get metal anvils, they're a real... Okay, where, where, does the, where does the liquefied tin go? At the top, on the left. And put a hammer in the bottom left before you can work it, and then you need to yep. wait for it to cool down until it's no longer liquid. Yep, now it's very hot. Okay, so now you need to use the items on either side. Uh, the green ones move the slider up, the red ones move the slider down. So you need to go... Uh, what's the bottom one of the greens? Shrink. Yeah, shrink, shrink a couple of times, and then you need to hit it enough times to get the slider back onto it. Alright. Oh, if that makes sense. 
you need to shrink it to move a long way right past the slider yeah. And then you need to hit it back down to the slider because the rules say that the last three need to be a hit. Oh, I haven't checked on the charcoal in a while. Our door's open! Oh, it's not moving up. Am I doing something wrong here? It's probably cooled down too much. Oh, this right. is what I mean. It's it cools hot. down so quick. Yeah, it needs to be hotter. Yeah. Okay, the charcoal's still smouldering. So that's fine. Hit, shrink, shrink. If this item has been worked. Yeah, it's it keeps the last three that's been worked on it. So what you'll need to do, I believe, you keep shrinking until you go past the slider and then yeah. hit it hit it to go back. Well, heavy hit it. Well, no, light hit it. Keep light hit it. The last three moves need to be a hit. So you yeah. can heavy or light, but just move it along. Just keep moving it along with the light and you'll be fine. With the light hit. We're going to need more wood as well because I put it all in the, fern in the thing, haven't I? Yeah, that's a pain. It's alright, we'll need all the charcoal anyway. Cool. Right. Um, nah, I'll wait until you got a pickaxe before I show anyone how to do the other stuff. Oh. What? Huh? I just right clicked on your thing and crashed my game. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that crash. But I have cooked an egg. Dave has successfully made himself a tin and got, so that's good. So now he needs a pickaxe. Do right. I need any sticks for this? No, right. no, no. Right. What you need is you need the ingot hot enough. That's right, you got lots of wood. Um, yeah, you need the ingot hot enough just before it melts. Because if it melts, it'll go. You'll lose it basically. Uh, because we haven't got any more. What? Um, All right. What, what stage hotness do we have? Do I have to go? Uh, go I to out? four star hot. Let right. I me mean, let me make some more. Uh, did you say you've got? Um, clay moulds. Have yeah. you got any cooked clay moulds? No, not yet. Just normal ones. Okay, well, we need one of them. When you melt an ingot back down... Um, yeah, when you when you melt an ingot, and it's not a, an unworked thing, it will... Steal that. It will need to go into a mould, so if you don't have a mould, it will vanish. Basically. Any good? Yeah, okay, so, draw... Not last, bend, not last, punch last, okay. Yeah, it's quite complicated. So what do I do, Jod? Keep, keep, what do I do you got to try and line it all up, basically. I don't know unless I see it, what to do. Alright. <laughs> I can't remember on my one. I didn't make a perfect one, anyway. No, I can see that's still going. Well, while you're doing that, I won't just sit and watch, I'll go do some other stuff. Cook that. Okay, just to show the audience, that is the block where the um, bloomery will be. And you can also add bellows to a bloomery, like so, and you'll be able to use them to heat up the contents. But that's not until we've got that charcoal ready. It's really right. difficult. I have no idea what I'm supposed to be doing. Yeah, I know. It, it takes a lot of work to balance it out. Let me put that in there just in case. There we go. Just in case it's, it melts. The thing is, I think it's just cooling too, too quickly. It does. It cools so fast. That is one of the main problems. All the tier naught metals are a real pain to work because of the speeds at which they cool and stuff. Why have I not needed any food for a while? I think you might be right about that going over thing. See, I can't, I can't have a look at the anvil to show you what to do because I can't access it at the moment until we've got a proper anvil which multiple people can access, which is made out of metal. Yes, it's it's, it's cooled down now. Well, it, it said on it, it said um, draw, bend, punch. Have those got to be the last three things I need to do to it before it works? Yeah, in the order they say. So I've got to shrink it until it goes up, and then I've got to draw it, bend it, punch it. Yeah. Ah, uh, your uh, cer ceramic moulds ready. Yeah, I know, I put it in your fireplace. You've chucked a hammer at me. Yeah, what you do is you put it at the bottom so that if your ingot, sm uh, if your ingot melts, then it'll go there instead of losing all the ore, because otherwise the ore will evaporate. Oh, okay. oh yeah, yeah. 
Oh, I caused a minor cave in here. Nothing important. Oh, by the sounds of it, I caused a cave in on the other side of the wall and killed a spider as well. No. You know what? I'm going to have a look for that spider. I'm going to make a door first so I can seal it up. I'm going to have a good old look for that spider, for that other cave. Give us somewhere to go exploring during the day. Uh, do I want to go further up? Yeah, why not? With any luck, there'll be a lot of cool stuff in that cave. In fact, I think I just may have... Um, I have uncovered something else. Excellent. Sorry? This thing goes up to very hot. And then melts. How oh, does it? Does it? Or oh, I'm not sure. No, it's, it's not actually melt. It's not melting. Gotta be really careful. Alright. Let's come back again in, uh, for the next video then, shall oh. we? Oh, Finish no, it off. <laughs> oh.